Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to Northgard. We have gotten a big new update for the game and we are gonna go ahead and uh, choose a player name. The player name this time is gonna be Hedwig. He I I'm sorry, dyslexia. Hedwig. Hedwig is gonna be yellow like his shirt and the difficulty is going to be... Should we go with hard? I have not played it since the last time I made the videos, so should I let's go with hard, who cares, let's go with hard, uh, victory conditions, domination, wisdom, trade, fame and map special, we are going to remove map special and we are going to remove wisdom because those are the easiest, so we're gonna go domination, trade or fame, one of these is going to be victory condition. So, as we can see, we have the Fenrir, the Aiktiririr, Hydran, and Hugin, and Munin. The clan of the Raven, great explorers and merchants, their mighty fleet allow them to be the first to land on Northgard. They are strong trade partners if you don't mind their constant scheming, brash and swift, they will often be found roaming where you least expect them. Nice, so they focus on uh, ships, and that is also very excellent, because all the videos on Northgard that I made, none of them feature ships, which is very nice. Starting bonuses, can colonize with crowns instead of food, can build a harbor to explore coastal areas and later send mercenaries attacks. Fame bonuses, recruits, you obtained two villagers for two, after you pass 200 fame, and mercenaries, you can hire mercenaries at your harbor and send them to raid coastal areas. That is actually very cool. Let us start the game and hopefully it is not going to go horribly wrong. I kind of, I probably should have played the game to prepare for recording, but I did not. And uh, I'm very sorry about that. So here we go. Let us go and build. I don't know what else have they added. We are building this. I should probably build another house, although it is... Uh, yeah, it is going to be necessary to build another house over here. Uh, woodcutter's Lodge. You know, honestly, I don't really know is that a good idea to build a Woodcutter's Lodge right here in this uh, starting, uh, starting place, although I probably should. Yeah, because I tend to... Uh, remove the woodcutter's lodge from the first uh, little tile but it's all right we're gonna build all three of these here so i definitely need to focus on uh, reaching the open seas wait are the fishies over here they are not so it would probably be good to go over here where there is the sea right so we can explore down here. Oh, wait a second. This is a very good spot because I can get some uh, more... Uh, see? Yes, 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 yes. That's the plan. I can get uh, the wisdom over here. I mean, that victory condition does not exist. So we cannot win. That That is one of the updates. Probably should have mentioned that. So it is going to be a little bit difficult to win, probably. Because we are quite limited. Oh wait, wait a second. This is the this is the stupid map over here. So going down here, this is probably a little a uh, little lake. I should probably go down here. Yeah, yeah. There's a pretty decent chance that the coastline is over here somewhere. So you, my friend, what the hell under attack already? All right, all right. Just, just explore the areas. Then, I don't give a shit. Okay, that was. God damn it, man. All right. So this place here improves wood production. See, see. It's as if I knew that this area would be good for a woodcutter. So that is the plan. We should colonize, or I can use the crowns for colonization over here. But my food production is bigger. So, we are going to colonize with food. Let's see what's happening over here. We have fertile land, we have stones, and we have a wolf. Uh, 
<laughs> Might be a little bit of a problem. But I definitely need to go ahead and build a woodcutter's lodge over here. It's going to increase my production rapidly. So this is going to get discovered as well. We got the ruins. Uh, ah, very nice. So here is the... Here is the beautiful shore. So where, I'm on an island? Oh, interesting. So I kind of have to use the... Maybe I can go down here. Probably. Okay. Ah, that makes... That makes sense, I suppose. The villager, you can go ahead and uh, start producing the lore. So what are the lore bonuses here? Hmm, the lore bonuses increases scouting and exploration speed by 100%. It increases your happiness based on the areas you have explored. Military unit attack power depending on your crowns in stock. Oh, that is interesting. It increases your trading routes. Crown income and the marketplace supply by 50%. And gain plus one happiness for every 500 crowns in stock. Yeah, okay. Uh, forest. This also improves wood production. Should colonize this as well. Also for the food. Colonize, colonize, bolonize. Oh yes, I, I gotta build more stuff. Healer's hut. I'm gonna place the healer's hut right here. I think this is a good spot for a healer's hut. I'm gonna need to upgrade this as well, so I'm gonna need to take this area and uh, start production on the stone. And wait a second, where is? No, no, no! Don't, don't fight. You're gonna die, bro. Don't fight. Okay, very good. This villager should go over here and build. Whoops. Whoops! So far so good. Another villager here. The food production isn't good, so I'm gonna need to wait until the next villager before I can... Uh... Well, this villager is working on the healer's hut. So if I place a villager in the healer's hut, my food production is gonna go down. But I kinda need... I need him to heal. Yeah, so definitely... Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Step by step... oh, shit. Ooh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to get rid of these Draugr tombs. And over here, where are we gonna go with? Uh, sharp axes, weaponsmith. I kind of want to go with sharp axes. But trading, I think I should focus on trading. I feel like trading is very, very important for me. So yeah, let's go. Let's go with trading. See the crowns. Because I can leverage the crowns in my favor very, very easily. Shipwreck is over here, but we got uh, Draugr's over here as well, and we have Iron in this area. So Iron and a Shipwreck against a couple of Draugr's, that's fine. Happiness is zero, which means that I... what are you doing? Villager? Okay. Can go cut. Hmm. Some of them are healing, so what are we gonna do? I can't really do anything. I need to wait until I get more wood. So once we get more wood, I will probably need to get uh, a training camp. Because I need to uh, get rid of these bastards. There's a lot of wolves everywhere. That is our next move. Town hall. One more villager is getting built. Or getting created. So once he gets created... We're gonna be out of space. Population is going down. So house, we could place a house where? Right over here. This is a good spot for a house. You are a villager, you can go ahead over here and work on that. Well, the food is going down, so... Maybe... We can give this guy that job. 
first he needs to go ahead and become a villager. So once he becomes a villager, he can go ahead and work here. Very good. Alright. Oh, winter. Winter has come. That is not good. Not good at all. The food isn't great. This is gonna go up. Uh, not good. But this happens every time, you know, the first winter is the worst. You gotta survive the first winter. Once you survive the first winter, everything is going to be excellent. Food is kinda low, the wood is alright. So this woodcutter can become a villager. So the food can go up. Territory is under attack again. Okay, guys, fight them. Kill the bastard. Very good. Thank you. Okay, the food is not a big problem. Wood and crowns are in the positive. So food is slowly going down, but uh, I believe that we are going to survive the winter without many issues, which is beautiful. Let's see, increases the number of possible buildings in this area. Only once. Oh, so we can use 200 crowns to increase the number of buildings that can be placed in one area. Very, very good. Lovely. I'm not using this place at all. I should use it. And we got another upgrade. Gain plus two lore production. Shipbuilding. Uh, erudition. I mean, erudition is gonna help me. You know, erudition helps on its own to increase the lore production automatically so i think erudition at start is the best because it basically gives free production and that is always very nice all i can do is wait getting invaded again it irritates me quite a bit i keep attacking all the time i wish i could use villagers to attack here, but I can't. Which is unfortunate. But I definitely need to get rid of these two areas, so the wolves would st uh, stop attacking me. Because it is getting quite irritating. Hmm? What is your problem? Hmm? What is your problem, villager? We are not happy. You are not happy. Well, crap, man. What, what am I supposed to do? Just wait until... Wait until... Oh. Discovered. The... Wyvern's Den. No, I disabled this. This is not a, a part of the victory condition, but... Holy crap. Looks pretty awesome. Pretty awesome! Aha, production is going back up. Which is very, very good. We got some wood back as well, so training camp is next. So one of the villagers can go over here and get more wood, because the food production is decent, so we need more wood. And over here we have increased wood production, plus 9, very good. Happiness is not good. Yes, I understand, I understand. I could delete this. Should I delete this? Yeah, let's go ahead and delete that. See, a mistake again, I, I knew that I shouldn't have done this shit, but it's alright. So, right, we're gonna get the training camp. I'm gonna place it right here in the in the main area. Training camp. And then we're gonna create, uh, I think, one warrior or maybe two. Probably two. Fairly certain two would be uh, good. And then we're gonna immediately attack these two areas and use crowns to uh, conquer them. And then we're gonna get access to the shore, and then we're gonna build ships. That is the plan, my man. Scout was hurt. Where did you get hurt? What the hell are you doing, Scout? For the love of God, you're in the middle of enemy territory. Please be careful. The last thing I want is you dying like a little baby. 
training camp getting built soon. Everything is positive except for the happiness. And that's gonna go up soon. <laughs> soon enough. I feel like this area is more valuable than this one. Because here we just have the ruins. But we also have the, the shoreline here. Although this one would be better because I can get iron. And with iron I can upgrade buildings. See, I can upgrade the town hall. Which will speed everything up. So, villager, you are not happy, so you're gonna become a warrior. I think I give a shit. And there's only one wolf here. Nice. So, go attack him. You should be able to beat the single wolf. Tremors have been reported. Luckily, I do not care. Devastated? Devastated. Uh, colonize with... So I would need to use 80 crowns, right? Uh, it's quite a bit. 80 crowns. Yeah, let's use the crowns then. Oh, 40 crowns. Nice. 40 crowns. And we got another update. Upgrade for the lore. Increases your trading routes, crowns, income, and marketplace supply by 50%. That would be very good. 15% uh, more wood. Not really necessary. Shipbuilding. Uh, trading routes. Income. Shipbuilding. God damn. What do I go? I'm so conflicted. Let's go with sharp axes. Guys, be careful. Be very careful. Okay, I got a new area. Too many wounded. Alright, so you're a villager. You can go ahead and help out in this area. And then another villager can go over here. He can build the mine. Where is the mine? The mine is right here. I rapidly needed this. Build the mine. So the wood production is actually very, very good. So one of these woodcutters does not need to be a woodcutter. He can become a villager again because my food production is going down quite a bit. Once we have the mine, we're going to also get to the farm here. The farm is going to produce much more. What is happening over here? We have the forest here that... Uh, be useful although not necessary I don't have enough people to deal with that quarry has been constructed and you can go work there immediately uh, what can you do he has been healed completely and we have two wolves here can he survive two wolves uh, 3 and 57 and 25 I don't think so I don't think he can survive that. Uh, that might be a problem then. So what are we gonna do? I could get another warrior, but that's kind of too expensive. So let's go ahead and use a villager. Send him over here and build a farm. Build a farm! Jesus Christ, the blue guy. 235 already. That's quick. That's super quick. I mean, I'm trying to do things properly. I hope that I'm doing things properly. Am I doing things properly? I mean, tremors are gonna happen soon, so I need to make sure that I have enough wood. This one... Don't, wait a second. Healer? That's the healer. Oh, and the warrior is here, so... Why is the healer here? Dude, you're gonna get hurt. Be careful. Now, warrior is 10 and 50. And these guys are 7 and 25. Our scout died. Well, that's excellent. Uh -huh. Contact, but I need a new uh, scout. Definitely need a new scout. Uh, healers are not busy anymore. They're not doing anything. So all of the remaining villagers, you can go over here into the fields. How much... Four stone. 
That is alright. Production is decent. Stuff is good. Warrior. So we got two wolves here. Let's see how this will go. Careful. Oh, shit. Fight, fight, fight. Kill him. Okay. Stuff is good. Uh, the warrior suffered. He suffered greatly, but he is getting healed. Very quickly, actually. And with half of his health, he should be able to deal with the wolf. Excellent. Got this place. 60, 60 crowns. Yes, colonize. Very good. Very good. I don't have any points, obviously. My fame is kind of crap. But uh, that's not my fault. Can't blame me. Blame society. Scout, what are you doing over there? You're supposed to go over here and explore this place. Repair for... 20, repair for 20, repair for 15, Jesus Christ, waste all of my shit. But it's good. It is good. Yeah, they have many more points. I need to start trading. I need to build a trade route. Trade post. I don't have enough money for that. Anyway, all of the productions are pretty decent. Should probably add another person to the Woodcutter's Lodge. That's a healer. But how many healers do I have? Farmer, one, one Woodcutter. Two healers, so one healer can go over here. We got another upgrade over here. Increases scouting and exploration speed by 100%. Yes. Yes. He needs to... Explore and scout faster because I need to explore everything all over the place. I need to upgrade the town hall immediately. And I have enough to upgrade it. Let's upgrade. One of this guy this guy needs to go ahead and start producing food because the food is going down. I would need to upgrade the fields as well. But at least the town hall has been upgraded now. So stuff is better. I'm still falling behind. But honestly, how, what, what the hell was I supposed to do? I think I'm doing things optimally. At optimal speed. Although I probably should have focused like something else more and then used the trading. But I only recently discovered Freydis. And I wasn't able to upgrade the town hall. But now I should be able to build the trading post and then build the marketplace as well. Trading post. Uh, mm, trading post. Going to be necessary. Food production over here. Villager. Healer. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, my lord. Three of them are attacking. Are you serious? How am I supposed to defend against three of them? They killed him. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm able to defend, but... I, I lost so many people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, things are absolutely horribly bad. Horribly bad and horribly terrible. Being attacked again. Well, I can't do shit about that. Woodcutter. So how many woodcutters do I have? Just one. Got a villager over here as well. Yeah, the food production is in the crapper. So you need to become a normal person again. Normal villager. These guys need to heal. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but I mean, <laughs> really, how is a person supposed to defend against that? Fucking crazy. Got another lore point. <laughs> Weaponsmith, I suppose. 
attack power by 20%. Or I can get the medicine to increase the healer's healing speed. That would probably be very, very useful. Because they are... the poor bastards are dying. Yeah, let's get the medicine. And then we're gonna get the journeyman. Gonna increase the happiness. And of course, portals. Very nice portals, I uh, like that. It's always nice to have that. And one of my warriors died. Of course, that... Uh, he died. Why did I expect anything else? I mean, I'm fairly certain that I am not stupid and I'm not... I didn't play stupidly. Right? Did I play stupidly? I honestly don't think so. Villager, you can go ahead and uh, chop some wood. The droggers are coming soon. Stuff is bad. But at least uh, new villagers are getting uh, created, so... Uh, that is going to be useful. Oh boy. Proves wood production, I can't really deal with this shit right now. Should probably get the Draugr Tombs. There are two Draugrs here. I should be able to deal with them. If I had two warriors. You know, I take over this area. But I don't have enough resources to take over any areas, so I need to uh, do something else. I'm gonna destroy this. The miner can do something else. He can go ahead and uh, be what? He can build something useful. I kind of need to build the trading post immediately. So he can go ahead and get some more wood. Yes, that's the plan. We got 10 stone here. Area is under attack. You should be able to get him. Very good. Okay, things are good. One villager should become a warrior, right? Yes. So I have two warriors. And with the two warriors, I could go ahead and attack this area with two droggers. Yeah, but I don't have any advantages. You know, my guys aren't very, very strong, so... Can't really do much with that, but I, what I can do is build the trading post finally. So the trading post is gonna go over here. And one of the villagers can go ahead and do that. So these two, the droggers are gonna come attacking now. They're gonna come out very, very soon. And then we must fight. We must fight and bring more there to them. And they shall suffer. A glorious amount of pain. And after that, I'm gonna take over this area so they piss off. Then that should be good, I hope. I hope to the gods. The gods will show us mercy. They will be merciful. Holy shit. He died. Serious, he died. Okay, one died, but the other one survived. Oh, I keep losing my people. It really is very, very realistic now. You know, losing people all the time. People die all the time. That's how it was in the ancient Viking times. People constantly died. Everyone died. Everything went to poop. So brewery, food silo. Uh, brewery probably would be good. But the marketplace would be good as well. Because the merchants uh, will be useful. So villager, you can go ahead and uh, do some trading. So the trade route, what can we trade? We can trade wood uh, for... So we can get crowns for wood. That would be good, right? Start trade route. We're gonna get a shit ton of crowns. And that is going to be useful, right? Then I can create another warrior. And create a third warrior as well. I'm gonna have three warriors. And these three warriors are gonna go ahead and... Uh, oh, he's fighting over here. This is an ideal opportunity. Ideal opportunity. Let us go, guys. 
Fuck. He won the battle. Crap. He won the battle. He's gonna... He took over this area. Son of a bitch. Okay, that is not ideal. <laughs> not... Not a good situation. There's five droggers here. I can't fight that. Fortunately, that is impossible to fight. But... I could build a marketplace. Definitely. Marketplace would be good. We're gonna place it right here. I only have one villager. That is not good. So, with the fields, I need to upgrade the fields. That is going to be the next step. Upgrading the fields. These guys are producing enough. Woodcutter, you can go ahead and uh, deal with this shit. No, 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 no. Not you. Uh, the guy in the trading post, the merchant. No, I need, a, I need to send the villager here. Yeah, the food production isn't great. And winter is coming. But it's gonna be fine. I believe. I believe. And we can win through trading. I just don't know how to check the victory conditions. How the hell do you check victory conditions? The options? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna trade until my heart gives out. That's the plan. Trade until you die. Scout died again. For the love of Christ, will you stop dying, Scout? Jesus Christ. So, marketplace... Uh, can I buy food? No, don't attack again. Why now? For the love of God! Do you have to do this shit? Okay, luckily these three are... Strong as balls. Alright, so this automatically gets filled up. And then I can buy stuff, right? Can I buy more for faster? Just, can I not input things myself? Shit. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I got another point here. Journeyman. Uh, I should probably get Weaponsmith. But I want Journeyman. And then we can decide one of these three. These attacks are never ending, man. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna cancel the trade route. Cancel the trade route. Guys are sick. God damn it, I can't deal with this. Can go ahead and be a healer. Please, Winter. End. Thank you. Winter has ended. Glorious. Uh, minus five still. So the merchant. You can go ahead and become... Uh, wait a second. Can I, can I set the merchant to, to go here? In the marketplace? Buy the food. Excellent. Bought the food, but I need better production of the food. And I can't upgrade, I need more wood. Man, I need more wood. So woodcutter, I could get another guy to go here, but... All of them are dying very rapidly. They're dying faster than I can heal them. <laughs> crap. Holy crap, they all died. They they all They all died. Oh shit. Well, this has clearly been uh, an epic failure. Very very uh hard. It, the game has become uh, extremely difficult. I honestly don't know what I could have done better. I probably need to play like seven times to figure out the best tactic to do stuff. Because this definitely wasn't a very, very good uh, move. <laughs> Shit. Happiness is five. So the new villagers are gonna come, but... Like, I, I don't see it happening. I mean, obviously the AI is cheating. That's very clear.
Motherfuckers are cheating. And I was not able to uh, advance my people fast enough. So uh, I guess that would be all <laughs> from this new update. I tried, but hard is obviously too hard for me. The game just completely wrecked my ass. Got absolutely devastated. You know, as soon as I started uh, expanding a little bit, got just absolutely destroyed. Oh well, at least now I know. Now I know of the pain that this game brings. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed. Let me know, would you like to see uh, another attempt where I uh, try to play better? And I will see you next time. I have been Petar, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petar the eternally touch your back.